Hello there, Internet. This is uh, Matt Attack coming back at you with lesson number two of uh, you know, how to script missions for Command and Conquer, aka Tiberian Dawn. And we're going to take uh, a couple little baby steps here from the previous lesson. Uh, we're just going to start off with the map we were working on last time. And if you remember, we uh, made it so these five guys went over here and came and attacked us. And uh, I think that was pretty much it. Yep, okay. Now, we're going to kick it up a notch here and uh, show how to get the enemy to produce units as well to attack you. Okay, so uh, starting off, uh, oops, I was messing around here earlier. Uh, we're going to make uh, production structures for the enemy, not in this case. So we're going to right click on here, go down to general structures, and give them a construction yard. Definitely need power, or uh, this will be a real long video where you can build stuff. Going to give them a hand nod. And then lastly, we're going to give them an airfield. <clears throat> okay, first thing we got to do. Uh, there will be many times I'll be making a mission. It's not working out right, and I'm scratching my head wondering why uh, the computer is refusing to obey me and produce stuff. And it's because I spaced out and forgot to give him money. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit here. Go down to side. We're going to take a look at bad guy. We're going to give him 10,000 bucks. Alrighty. And, uh, you know, we'll give ourselves some money just for the heck of it as well. Um, even though we're not, we're not going to be building anything in this mission. Uh, and just explain some of this stuff here. Um, edge is the side of the map from which your reinforcements arrive. Uh, although we'll cover that uh, further on down the road in another lesson. Um, this here, allies, pretty self-explanatory. We have to be allied with ourselves, or we'll be able to target ourselves and whatnot. And you know, GDI is usually allied with neutral as well. We're not going to have any neutral structures or civilian units on the map. I really advise against that uh, right now. Uh, just stick with good guy and bad guy to start. It confuses things a lot. Okay, so so far so good there. Um, first thing we're going to do, uh, we can wait all day. They're not going to produce anything. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, go to triggers, new trigger, and call this one prod. And, and what we're going to be doing here is the production trigger for the enemy. This is the trigger that opened the door to this whole thing for me. Uh, a guy I think by the name of Chubfish on the Com Center website back, I don't know, 2010, 2011, uh, filled me in on, I needed that basically to make my mission, what I was trying to do, I needed that to make it work. So, cause, keep it simple again, time, we're just going to leave it at zero because we want them to basically start producing right away, or have the capability to produce right away. Uh, event, production, side, bad guy, because we want the bad guy to be the one who's producing. Loop zero. And now what production does is it uh, gives the AI the ability uh, to produce units from their unit producing structures like the hand of nod and the uh, uh, airfield. Also, it allows them to rebuild structures, okay, or technically kind of build them. And actually, you know what, I'll probably get that as well, okay, that looks good. Now, let's take a look at this. This is what I'm talking about here. Oh, here's what you do. You right click on the structure, properties, you see all this stuff here. You can basically change the side if you wanted to, the health, angle if it's a turret. I think that's 
really the only one it's going to apply to. We're looking at these two things right here, start and replace. Start means it is actually on the map when we begin the game. Replace means uh, we go blow this sucker up. If their production trigger has been activated, uh, in a little bit of time, they will rebuild another hand of Nod. Uh, what's really cool to do, I like to do a lot of times, is, uh, oh yeah, I'll be evil. Check this out, we're gonna have a helipad. Okay, this is a really dirty trick I pull a lot. Properties. It's not, if you unclick start, it's not gonna be there when we start. It'll, they'll build it once their uh, production is underway. It takes them a little while, but I might as well throw that in there this lesson too. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, now next thing we're gonna do is take that original team we made. The uh, let's take a look at them. The five mini gunners who moved to waypoint one and then attack us. We're gonna have them repeating. Uh, it's funny I just went and looked at all of uh, the Westwood original campaign uh, INI files, and uh, I always use for time both one and two make it repeat. Uh, I always used one. I looked in the INIs, they always use two. I'm gonna use two. So what that means, we'll actually make this take a little bit longer. So now, every five time units, they're going to create team attack one. Uh, they always start by recruiting units off of the available off the map which are set to guard um, if they do not have units on the map available they'll start producing so they're able to make that team okay Looking good there and now what we're gonna do is make a, a new a new team well here's the roundabout way of doing this let's do our team type first this will be attack two. Although, uh, again, uh, thanks to Near Goods for chiming in there, um, the team type name can actually be up to 12 characters long. Again, I always just tend to stick with four. I mean, that's primarily what they did in the game. It's going to be bad guy. Again, we're leaving this number alone at seven. If you notice, the majority of the teams in the game are seven or 15. There's some other stuff too, but that's a couple lessons down the line. And what we're going to do, let's see, let's make a light tank. We're going to have him move to waypoint two, which we'll add in a second. Here's a new one for you. We're going to have him guard for five time units. Okay, and then we'll have him attack our units for 99 time units. Do, 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 looking all good there. And now, since we entered this from the, the make a trigger menu, we select it, hit select, boom, we're good to go. Let's copy that. Now, this one, again, we're going to use time, the event, create team. Since there's no tanks available on the map, they'll fly one in so they're able to make the team. We'll set this for Eh, 10. Again, that is bad guy. And we'll only have this trigger happen once. But there's some interesting side effects to them producing units. Let me just stick with this right now. Okay. Looking good so far. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make waypoint number two for that light tank to go to. So he's going to go poop down here. Then he's going to attack our units. Okay, now, just throw in another little thing here to spice up the lesson. Some kind of important triggers you need for most of your missions. First one, win. And uh, cause of that, we're going to use all destroyed. Total destruction of all the units and structures of bad guy. What happens when that happens? Boom, we win. So that's zero, because we only need it once. And then conversely, 
boost. Cause of that, all destroyed. Event, lose. Side, good guy, because that means when we're all destroyed, we lose. Set that to zero. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Looking good. Okay. Now, I don't don't want this video to take too long, so uh, I'm going to stack the odds here a little bit in my favor. Give myself a bunch of mammoth tanks. I'll put them down here so they're out of the way. I can flank them. Alright, so these are all good guy tanks set to guard. And we'll throw in some rocket trucks for good measure. Okay. Now, one more thing. Say, you know, you want units on the map that you don't want drafted into other teams. Okay? Here's what you do. We're going to take a little baby step forward here on this. Uh, these are called unit commands. This is like the attitude the units that you place have. These guys are going to make new units. They're set to area guard. We'll put them right here. These guys will not be recruited into a team. What it is, if you get near them, they kind of start chasing you and attacking you. I've noticed uh, different kinds of units have a different like radius that they will engage you. Mini gunners, they're pretty short-sighted, so you got to get kind of close to them. Commandos, they'll start chasing you at a further distance or, or a yeah, like a larger radius Bay Area guard. Okay, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Now we're going to save. Going to uh, honor Near Good's uh, wishes there. He left in the comments last time because uh, uh, the SCG 20 is going to overwrite uh, one of the covert ops missions. And so I was looking at it earlier, and uh, there's also, like with the version of the game I downloaded, there's uh, his adaptations of the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation uh, additional campaign missions. Um, so to not interfere with any of that stuff, we're going to go with SCG-34. That'll put it at the bottom of our GDI list. Now let's save that, take this first spin, take a crack at it, See if all this stuff works. Okay, here we go. And there we go. There's our old lesson one. Oop, I forgot to rename it lesson two, but whatever. No going back now. So that's one we just saved. And the other side is somebody else's. These are other missions that I've uh, downloaded or whatever. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm going to show you a little trick here. I advise that you wield this ultimate power responsibly. Don't use it to cheat on missions. Uh, it's a tremendous tool for testing the missions you make. <clears throat> See all this shroud here? It's hard to know if the bad guys are doing what you want them to do. I used to put stealth tanks all over the place so I could see what's going on. Let's turn the, down the game speed for a second. We're going to type in the word, which will reveal the shroud. It's tactical. T-A-C-T-I-C-A-M. Hit the tab button for the sidebar. Now we have a full view of what's going on. Let's turn the game speed back up. This is the speed I usually play at, but let's, let's turn it up a little bit more. So again, these guys are going to go over here, come on back and attack us. Yes, sir. There we are. These guys are going to follow suit because it's a repeating trigger. No problem. <laughs> these guys are not because they are set to area guard. Ooh, look at that helicopter. Oh, crap. Yes, sir. No problem. Yeah, got it. They have a pretty wide, uh, they're sort of automatically set to area guard as well. Uh, and see now, they've exhausted their units. 
that they could draft off of the map. Now they're going to start producing them. Oh, shoot. They got it out for me now. Okay, so so far so good. The helipad got built. We have a production on them. I'm going to move some rocket trucks over here to have my back. Okay, now, next thing we're waiting for should be a tank landing here any minute now. Hopefully, I forgot to insert it into the team type. Oh, Jesus, that told me I didn't do that. Boy, I must not have. That must have been my error there. Well, let's take a look. Happens a million times a day making missions, so. Well, let's test our lose trigger. Do I wish to surrender? Boom. All bad. Good guys have been destroyed. Mission failed. There you go. Okay. Let's go back out and uh, see what I did wrong. Oh, that's what it is. I forgot to hit insert. I think I talked about that in the last mission. Light tank, insert. Okay. And just to make this go a little faster, we'll set that to 5 as well, because I do want to illustrate something with this. Oh, and let's fix this. Listen. 2. Okay. There we go. Okay, hit tactical. Boom. I'll just start killing guys. And they'll start producing. Now let's check out the area guard. Okay, get close to these guys. They're going to engage us. See? And those guys will not be recruited into the teams. See the computer building guys here? As expected. Let's get away from where that helicopter is going to be coming. And here comes our tank. Beautiful. You should go down here and then uh, start engaging us. Oh, shoot that guy down. Oh, that's right. He's guarding there. Notice it built another light tank. The enemy always builds spares so they don't have an empty ass base, an open invitation for invasion. So it doesn't get lonely in there. All right. You see, they actually built two spares. Um, there might be a way of controlling how many they build. All right. Well, let's do the deed here. Test our wind trigger. I've got a present for you. Yes, sir. I've got a present for you, sir. I've got a present for you. I've got a present for you. Yes, sir. I've got a present for you. Alright, looking good. Bam. And there you have it. That's a lesson two, I guess. Thanks for listening, and uh, sweet dreams.